Okay, so heat transfer rate across materials, not being absorbed or emitted. Well, it's absorbed and emitted out the other end. So the heat is actually flowing from one side to the other. Now this requires a temperature difference. And also, you need information about what it's passing through, how thick, how high, how much mass you're passing through. So here's how it works. Let's see. So heat transfer rate across material, it's still heat transfer rate. So it's Q sub H. But it depends on K. K is the thermal conductivity of the material. It's the ability of the material to transfer the thermal energy from one place to another. Like um, a cast iron pan. I mean, you know how it is, it heats up and it heats up the handle too because of, because the iron's got a high thermal conductivity and it moves that energy along and you burn your hand on the, on the handle. So what you might do is you might put a wooden handle on that thing because wood's got a lower thermal conductivity. And what that's going to do is it's going to take longer to transfer through. So K is thermal conductivity. It has some weird units. Units are like uh, BTUs times inches per hour, foot squared, Fahrenheit degree. They're in tables. Uh, in metric, it's, uh, it's like calories uh, times centimeters per centimeter squared uh, hour or second times Celsius degree. We'll do, we'll do one with English units. Now, if I'm looking at the wall, the more area the wall has, say here this is the hot side, T hot, and this is the cold side, T cold. I've got a, I've got a, maybe a width here and a height. The bigger the surface area, the more heat's going to escape or be absorbed. So it's directly proportional to the surface area. You know if you're hot, you kind of spread out so you can cool. But if you're cold, you cover up. Because what you're doing is you're reducing surface area so that you can reduce the heat transfer rate. So heat transfer rate is proportional to thermal conductivity in the area, All right? Now the temperature difference drives the heat transfer rate directly proportional. If I double the temperature difference, I double the heat transfer rate. Finally, the thicker it is, the lower the heat transfer rate. If I'm cold, I'm going to put on a, another layer. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make a bigger barrier between my body temperature and the outside temperature. So L is the thickness. And the thickness is inversely proportional to the heat transfer rate. If I double the thickness, I cut the heat transfer rate in half. These, these factors, the thermal conductivity, the area, and the temperature difference, they're directly proportional, which means they're in direct proportion. If I double one of these, I'm going to double the heat transfer rate. So let's do an example. Let's look at this wall right here. Now for this wall, the thickness is 8 inches. I measured it. And the width, let's see, the width of it is 30 feet. And the height is 10 feet. Now, let's see. Let's say the temperature difference. Let's say I was running a temperature difference here of uh, 15 Fahrenheit degrees. Say it was 85 degrees on this side, 70 degrees on this side. What would be the rate at which heat would transfer across? So I'm going to say my delta T. If I gave you individual temperatures, you'd have to calculate delta T. But I'll just say the delta T is 15. Fahrenheit degrees, and I want to know what's the heat transfer rate. So go ahead and look at all this. You can pause it if you want and make sure you get all these numbers. I've got a thickness of 8 inches, a width of 30 feet, a height of 10 feet, delta T is 15 degrees, 15 Fahrenheit degrees. Oh, and for concrete, the thermal conductivity of concrete is about 6.0 
BTU inches per hour foot squared Fahrenheit degree. So let's, just, let's put these numbers in. I've got thermal conductivity. I've got, I can calculate the area and I can, uh, I've got the temperature difference and I've got the thickness. So let's see what we get here. So the area is the height times the width, which is 10 feet times 30 feet, which is 300 feet squared. The heat transfer rate is the thermal conductivity of the concrete that it's passing through times the area, the more area, the bigger the heat transfer rate, times the temperature difference divided by the thickness of the concrete. So this is 6.0 BTUs times inches per hour foot squared Fahrenheit degree. I know you got inches here and feet squared on the bottom. You can cancel them out if you want it, but they cancel out better this way. You'll see. I got an area of 300 square feet. You can see those square feet cancel there. I got a temperature difference of 15 Fahrenheit degrees. Fahrenheit degrees cancel. And let's see, the thickness was eight inches. Now the inches cancel. What a joy, eh? So let's see, what is that? That's gonna be. Oh, I got calculator here. That's gonna be six times three hundred fifteen divided by eight. That gives me three thousand. Well, I'll just say 3,380. I'll assume I knew what the three sig figs. Um, all I've got left are BTUs per hour, which is great. That's heat transfer rate. BTUs per hour. And that's how you calculate heat transfer rate across the material.